If your computer startup is getting slower, this video is for you. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking on startup programs. Now over time, as you install new programs onto your computer, it also may add more startup processes and start to slow some things down. Now this is most noticeable if you're running a traditional hard drive, but depending on the software and how many you have, it can also affect solid state drives as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how to go through that process, go into the startup and remove or disable the ones that you no longer need. Now, of course, there is a degree of personal preference to this, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Disabling your startup processes is a very simple process. You're gonna to want to gain access to the task manager, either by right-clicking on a empty section of your taskbar and then left-clicking on task manager, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, control shift plus escape, and that will open up the task manager as well. Now from here, yours might look something like this, and you're gonna to want to left click where it says more details, and this is going to expand the task manager, and then we're gonna to want to navigate into the top left area and left click on the startup tab. This is then going to list all of the programs that are currently registering under the startup processes, and you can see that we've got a breakdown of all of the different types of uh, processes. We've got the name of it, we've got the publisher or developer of that process, we have a status indicator, whether it's enabled or disabled, and then you can see what type of impact it has on your startup. So to disable or enable, we can right click on one of these, and you can see we can disable, or if we right click on one that's already disabled, we can left click on enable. So for example, the HP Omen Gaming Hub is no longer needed. I don't have that monitor plugged in anymore. So I'm gonna right click on that and then left click on disable. And you'll notice that the status indicator went from enabled to disabled. And when I reboot the computer next time, this process will no longer fire off. Now you might be asking yourself, what's the point of disabling the program if it's just gonna stay on the computer? For example, Spotify is a program that I like and I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I may not want that to start up with Windows, but I still want to be able to use that program when I want to use it. So I can right-click that and disable it. And when I want to use Spotify, I can manually search for it in the Start menu and turn that process on. Now, if you're unsure about what a process actually does, you can actually find one, right-click it, and then left-click Search Online. This is gonna open up your default browser, and it's gonna give you some links and some articles or a quick description of what that specific process does. So you can see that this IQ belongs to Corsair IQ software. This is the software that manages basically all of my peripherals, my RGB lighting, my fan, my cooling. And if I were to disable this, the program would no longer run and I would have to fire off that manually. So if you're unsure about one, you're definitely gonna wanna right click on it and search it online just to get a little bit more information about it. You can also right click on it and go to properties. This will give you different properties regarding that specific program. So you've got what type of file, the description, where it's located, the size, uh, created, modified, you have all your information regarding that specific process. You can also right click it and then left click on open file location. And this is gonna take you to the exact folder that that process is running from. And that is all there is to it. Hopefully you're able to go in, disable some of those programs and make your rig just a little bit quicker. Now that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. And of course, if you could, be a peach and hit that like, share, and of course, subscribe to this channel. We love your support. And if you decide that you wanna support the channel in other ways, we do have a merch store, but let's be honest, who doesn't have one by now? But head on over to shop.helpcloud.com to check it out. Thank you guys all for your support, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.